when I started building my portfolio, it was when I started taking classes outside of school because that's where I started to learn how to draw realistically and with charcoal and where I really cared about my own techniques and my improvement. Throughout high school, I took AP art my senior year. I'll never forget the pieces that I made in that class because I didn't have the same type of constructive feedback and sometimes it was literally, there was no prompt. I was just making pieces. I'm a person that needs restraints in order to like really be creative with something. I just remember there's this one piece, this one painting that I thought I could do, but I did not do well. I did not include it in my portfolio. And it just like was this beekeeper, did not even look like a person. That's when I learned that I needed to practice drawing the figure. It was wonderful because I had some really great pieces from that class. I don't, I can't even like begin. It was just so much more of a challenge because I was giving myself prompts. I wasn't necessarily attached to what I wanted to make. I made like 10 more. Only like a couple of them did I really include in my portfolios when I applied. By the time that I was applying to my last school, I was so completely done that like I was not even thinking about the prospect of which schools I was going to get into because I was just so nervous of like being denied from the 11 schools that I applied to. I just had to sleep after that. I don't even know where to begin. Oh goodness. <laughs> I really 